Well, greetings, my friends. In this year-end video, we want to thank all of you for watching our videos this past year, for standing with us throughout another year, as we are watching and waiting for the second coming of our Lord Jesus. We are sounding the alarm on this channel, warning souls that today is the day of salvation, calling souls to turn to God wholeheartedly, believing in Jesus Christ. We are sounding the alarm and warning souls that all the Bible prophecies will be fulfilled and are being fulfilled in this last generation. Thank you all so very much for your prayers and love and support and great encouragement all year. We are praying for you and we love all of you. We truly thank God for this sweet fellowship and friendship on this channel. God bless you all. We did a short eight and a half minute video last summer that turned out to be our most popular video of 2023. I'd like to rerun that important message now at the end of the year as a way of looking at where we were in 2023 and where we are headed in 2024. Here's that short rerun as this pivotal year of 2024 is now almost upon us. Donald Trump is the Antichrist spoken of in the Bible who fulfills the Bible prophecies to, a, to the letter. And he is the lawless one. The Antichrist, the Bible says, is the lawless one who flouts the law and wants to change everything, wants to change all the laws and uh, make them, of course, according to his will, to, to, to make things so that he can simply make the decree and it will be. And uh, he is the lawless one. And that this is Donald Trump who puts his will above any laws or rules or regulations, who has no regard for any rule of law. Trump is his own rule. In his mind, he is the absolute rule, the absolute ruler of all that is. Who bows down and worships at the feet of Donald Trump? If, if they are a total Trump worshiper, uh, then they will be in the new administration. Uh, if they're a total uh, lackey for, for Trump and will do anything he says without question, implementing anything, whether it's legal or illegal, that doesn't matter. All that matters is, is it Trump's will? And if it's Trump's will, then it should be done. And that is the uh, outlook of uh, the uh, Trump people that are surrounding him now and preparing things for this second administration. Get rid of anyone who dares to ever question him, stand against him, oppose him, or change his mind, or do anything, uh, and punish them. Punish anyone who is not 100% a Trump worshiper. This man, Donald Trump, uh, can there be any doubt in anyone's mind? Looking at the world stage, have you ever seen any human being anywhere on the world stage who was so totally committed to the proposition that his will is supreme, that he is God, and that everyone should worship him, bow down to him, and that anyone who dares to question him should be annihilated? Uh, and so this is exactly what the Bible says about the Antichrist, that he will be a man who will ruthlessly murder uh, anyone who does not bow down and worship him. That will be the test. You either worship the Antichrist in the last days or uh, they will the this world order that is coming ruled by the Antichrist will be out to get anybody that does not take the mark of the beast, who does not worship the beast, who does not bow down and uh, swear allegiance to the beast, to this Antichrist. Can there be any doubt in anyone's mind? This is the man who fits the bill. He's on his way to re-election, folks. He's got the GOP nomination for sure. And I believe that he will be re-elected 
without any problem. And I believe he will go on to be the fulfillment of the Bible prophecies. A man who is totally obsessed with being worshipped by everybody. A man who is totally obsessed uh, that he is God and no one should question him. No one should challenge him. No one should say a word against him. Uh, this is what is coming. Uh, this man fulfills the Bible prophecies as I've talked about in the past in many videos. We have to identify the Antichrist. I think we'll all be clear on this. That the Bible is very clear that when the Antichrist, uh, as he rises on the scene, he will be revealed, the Bible says. The Bible says he will be revealed. We believe that is happening right now. We believe the power that held it back, the mighty angel that was holding back the revelation of, of the Antichrist, who he is, we believe that that uh, mighty angel has been removed, and we believe that uh, that, that uh, power holding it back has been taken out of the way, and that the Antichrist is now being revealed, and we must identify him. We must say, oh, this is who he is. Uh, the false prophet is also going to be revealed. We must identify him. We must know in these last days who these people are, and we must say so. We must speak it. We must tell it, and we must not hold back. And so that's what we're doing on this channel, uh, by the grace of God. You know, we're blowing the trumpet. Uh, we're, we believe that God has called us to blow the trumpet and, and sound the warning that uh, the uh, darkness uh, is coming before the second coming of our Lord Jesus. The Bible is very clear that things will go from bad to worse. Uh, the hearts of people will grow colder. Uh, their wickedness will abound. And uh, this Antichrist will rise. The false prophet will rise. There will be a one world government. And uh, people will uh, be called to worship this beast. The, a mark of the beast will be given by the false prophet, the Bible says. He will be the one that will institute that mark. And people will be called uh, to swear allegiance to this Antichrist beast and to the image of the beast that will be made. And to swear allegiance to this one world order, this, this evil one world government that is coming and so what is the calling of christians to stand against this to resist to have no part of this to say no to the mark of the beast to say no to the worship of the beast to say no to this evil and to be faithful to our lord jesus christ who is coming again and he will come and he will rescue and he will save and he will deliver now, on the way to that second coming of Jesus, the Bible is clear. Uh, many Christians will be persecuted. Uh, Christians will be hated. Uh, they will put Christians to death and think that they are serving God because their, their God will be the Antichrist. They will worship the dragon and the beast, the devil and the Antichrist. And so in their mind, they will be serving their God and uh, put to death. Many Christians will be put to death. The Bible says many will be beheaded. Many will be persecuted. Uh, I don't think there are any, even those that survive until the second coming of Jesus, who will not suffer some kinds of persecution. But God will be with us. We will not suffer the wrath of God. The wrath of God will fall on the unsaved. The wrath of God never falls on God's people. So as the, as the wrath of God falls upon a lost world, it will not fall upon God's children. But the church will be here witnessing, speaking the truth. Jesus said that this gospel will go to all the world and then the end will come. And so we will be here praying, laboring, uh, witnessing, telling people about Jesus and trying to win them in before it's everlastingly too late for them. And so we want people to be saved. We're praying for the church to be upbuilt and encouraged. And uh, Jesus said there would be many blessings with persecutions. And so we, we know that that's a part of the Christian experience. So let's continue to draw near to God. Let's be reading our Bible and know the word of God. Let's be fellowshipping one with another. Let's be witnessing to that lost soul. Let's be glorifying our God. And as we wait and watch and are alert and awake and waiting for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ.